came and then open it up for questions. Keep in mind, we have writers on deadline, so I'd like to uh, get him squared away as quickly as possible. Could you expect me to be brief? Well, knowing you as I do, Brian. <clears throat> Gentlemen, um, we talked about at halftime the fact that we didn't do a good job defensively. Uh, we didn't handle the ball uh, very well. We made a lot of mistakes. And <clears throat> the second half for us was about backing up defensively and taking better care of the basketball until Andre decided to uh, pad his stats at the end with a couple of turnovers. <laughs> but I thought that, you know, once we backed up, we did a better job controlling the ball, we controlled the glass a little bit better. And, you know, we were able to make some plays when we needed to. Lowell's a very good team, tough matchup, maybe the most talented team in the bracket uh, of the eight teams here. And, we're very fortunate to be able to get the opportunity to play again tomorrow. You switched that zone in, in the second half, and, and it seemed like part of the reason because Gutierrez was out, but it seemed like that really helped kind of really control UMass Lowell from doing what they were doing so long in the first half. It, 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 it did. You know, I, I thought that uh, they struggled a little bit to, to find the rhythm against the zone. Uh, they were, instead of getting in the paint and making layups like they were doing against us in transition, they were settling for jump shots, and once we were able to get some rebounds and some runouts, the game turned for us. And I think the guys got more and more confident in the zone uh, as they struggled with it. And really turned with these two guys to kind of taking over a big scoring with Gutierrez on. Uh, kind of talk about what they did for you in that second half. Well, you know, Andre's a guy who is content making plays for his teammates, and Ryan's a guy who's content allowing the other guys to uh, get all the credit and. You know, I talked to each one of them before the game and told them how important it was that they did what they were capable of doing in this tournament. That it can't be, you know, let's wait for Goody to get his and Shea to get his and Andre to get his. We need each guy to, to bring it. There's no tomorrow, so uh, it's important for us to get everything we can out of every guy we play. And, and Andre, it seemed uh, you were taking care of everybody else, and then you hit a little stretch where a couple of shots started falling for you, and, and, and again, it was when they were starting to make a little bit of a run back at you and kind of put that distance again for, for you guys. Yeah, it was like the transition game helped us, like rebounding home on the ball and me getting in transition, not turning the ball over and being on control. How does it feel coming back, you know, after being down nine and, and seemingly they had control of the game in that first half and coming back to win this game to, to move on in the NCAAs? It's a great feeling, but everybody stepped up. Kareem came in, hit big shots, defensive play. We got rebounds, like we talked about at the beginning. Coach, can you talk about getting to that fall line? It just seemed like you guys almost had to pay rent to, to be there for this game. Well, you know, it, it's something that we, we concentrate on. It's not uh, by mistake that we get to the free throw line. We talk about, uh, you know, when we're in the bonus, to take advantage of being in the bonus. And, you know, it was important for us not to foul them. And I really was disappointed in what we did early in, that, in the game. And especially the first half, I thought we fouled way too much. Uh, you know, we've been a good free throw shooting team all year long, and uh, we would like to get there more than our opponent does. Certainly, uh, would like to uh, outscore them from that line. Uh, there was a time where our team, five, six years in a row, uh, attempt made more free throws than our opponents attempted, and this team, for most of the season, has done that. Uh, and, you know, certainly at this point in the season, if you want you guys to make them get there, Mursky's our best free throw shooter, and he missed three of them. So, uh, and Kareem is a very good free throw shooter, and missed two of them. So, I guess, what do I know? Questions for Coach Beery or the student athletes? Brian, talk about watching that first half. Um, it seemed from a naked eye, if you did look at a scoreboard, they were up by 15 to 20, the way the game was being played. Um, yet, you hung around, and, and it was, uh, you were within a manageable distance. What was, you know, what, what, what was the range there? Because it, 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 from watching it, if you didn't look at the board, it was what? But you came back and you grinded, and a lot of teams that come all the way back, but you got over the hump and you continued that run. What was the difference for you there? Well, I think the poise was the difference. We, we, we talked about playing so poorly in the first half. We needed to make a run. We hadn't made a run the first 25 minutes of the game, and they're good. I told you before the game, you know, 
they, I think they're arguably the most talented team in, uh, in the regional. And we didn't want to get into a park game. I was very disappointed with the number of points we gave up in the first half. The, the game favored them. That's why we spread the court. I just wanted to keep them off offense. Uh, you know, I was a defensive boy with our offense because I just thought that they dominated us in the first half. And uh, we needed to do a better job in the second half. And uh, we were fortunate. We got great play. Domin Dominicus Milka's stat line, he's got three rebounds and, and uh, two points. But boy, oh boy, uh, did he change the, the game in the middle of the floor. Uh, Kareem Thomas, another freshman, you know, 12 points off the bench, played big minutes down the stretch. Those two guys, you know, really uh, gave us a big lift. And I thought Devin Grimes' energy was terrific. And, uh, you know, I, I just thought this group was really focused all day long, shoot around pregame. Uh, they had a look in their eye that at halftime, I, I didn't get the vibe from them that uh, they were concerned. I, I, I really felt like they were okay. Fellas, walk me through um, this is your first go round. Basically, like your big man's the NCAA tournament. What's it been like for you? And you know, obviously, getting a big victory and facing adversity tonight. Um, I mean, it's been very exciting. It's, you know, it's an exciting opportunity for all of us that we're uh, you know grateful to have. Um, and I mean, getting the first win, it, it feels good to you know get a win underneath our belt. And uh, you know, now we know what it's like. So hopefully, we can just keep going from here. So. Any other questions for Coach Perry, the student athletes? Okay, guys, congratulations. Thank you very much.